I should do a 600 subscriber giveaway. You can have that old crab pot and this tire. You can't have the shovel because that's mine. But I'll give you the rest. <laughs> what what should the you gotta find it i'm gonna hide it on acetique and you gotta find it that'll be the giveaway <laughs> so we're gonna drive out onto acetique go check some stuff out see what's what's going on look around the beach see if we find anything and probably hit up a couple hunting lodges too Got a cool beach find. Looks like a crab trap. Take a look at it. Oh, it's in there pretty good. I'm gonna throw it in the, try to get it up and throw it in the back of the truck. It's been out there a while. It's all falling apart. I don't know if I have any use for it, but we had a big snowstorm the other day. So there's a bunch of trash and stuff on the beach, but we'll, uh, we'll end up throwing this in the back of the truck and then throw it in the garbage when we get back. All right, check this out. We're walking back. We think that those are fox prints. I'm pretty sure they are. But this one, if you can see them as the little three, And it goes all the way. We're thinking it's an eagle. But I don't know why it would be walking back here. And these are obviously deer. So what makes Anybody know what these are? The three ones? The little three track ones? Acetique has a long history to it. And a lot of people don't know that it was once inhabited and it was actually almost a community at one point. This was one of them. It's Emma Truitt. I think she was 16. Through the water, you can see South Point out there. She was coming across, I think, in a sailboat and got hit in the head uh, and fell over and died. She was, a, uh, yeah, 16 years old. Died December 12th, 1874. There used to be a whole bunch of graves over here. Uh, I think vandals kind of knocked over the headstones. I think some of them were made of wood and they rotted away. But there's nothing. The only one left is Emma's grave. And the rest is uh, somewhere in here. I don't know where. So besides that, there's a bunch of hunting lodges out here too. Some of them are uh, commercially ran where they were just hunting operations. Other ones were private homes. So we're gonna go explore a little bit more, probably see a couple of the houses. So this lodge is uh, Green Run. This is one of the older ones out here. It's actually, it came in two parts. The initial part was the I believe it was this one, the two-story, which was the, I think, the kitchen. And that used to be the old life-saving museum, I think. We have a, a picture hanging in our house. I'll put it up right now if I can find it. And it's right here. And it's um, the old mayor and a bunch of other people. And they have pictures with their uh, shotguns and their dogs, and they just went duck hunting for the day. And there's an old blind that was left here. They did have power out here, running power. A lot of them had just generators. But this one had running power. And this used to be a dock. And at the end, I believe it was over here, it used to be a shack where they had oysters and all that. They would kind of hang out at the end of the day, have their beer and oysters and all types of stuff. So the shack was there. I think it got washed down during Hurricane Sandy when it came through. Mm -hmm. 
the scenery out here is pretty incredible. We made it back. We're gonna drive to the state line. It's not too far down. So we'll see what's down there and then try to explore the beach on the way back. Our exploring operation has now turned into a trash operation. Found this tire. So we'll throw this out on the way back. Holy crap, that thing's filled with sand. Heavy. Cornell Snowman. Wonder where this came from. I don't know. Hmm. We just did a Google search on the tires to see, see what it is. We think it's from like the 60s. We're just exploring. We found a dolphin. This is crazy, man. Oh no. Look at that. It's got fishing line all over it. Oh, that sucks. I really hope that's not how it died. You know what, it couldn't have been from the fishing line because it would have been wrapped around it and it's not, it's just kind of hanging on. But whatever got it definitely bit it. Wow. All right, we're gonna continue on. The state line is right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's got like the little pillars that go out like in the water. So we're gonna drive down there and go check it out. So far, no whelk shells. We haven't seen any. Just found this other thing. I don't know what it is. Like a huge jellyfish, I guess. That thing's massive. Look at it compared to my hand. Look at that. I don't know what it is. You got one? Okay, okay. Yes, we got one. Here's a whelk shell. That's a big one too. Yeah. That thing's nice. I thought it was white, but it's not. Pretty cool. Success, we got one. We're at the state line right now. Should I do the typical my hand is in Virginia. These posts run out into the water and then there's a fence line that runs the whole way. There's two houses back here. They were actually not, um, they were not hunting lodges. They were uh, private beach homes. The one that's over there, I'll show you in a second, is the Clements house. That one, uh, I think he did do some deer hunting, but that was pretty much it, it was minimal. The one out there, I can't remember, like uh, Musser's, something like that. I can't remember. But that one, that one used to get broken into all the time. And um, I think they were given the 25-year rights, but they, I don't know if they gave it up or what. But yeah, they just kind of let it go, let it crumble. So there's a house. The roof on the right side just recently collapsed. The other house is right there. And then on the Virginia side over there, there's a whole bunch of like oyster shacks and waterfowl shacks and stuff like that. For this one, uh, he had a boathouse. The boathouse is back there. And this is the house. Everybody knows where it is. It's right on the state line. The house you see right at the end. He had ties to Cheverly, Maryland. I was doing some research on him to try to figure out who it was. 
and who owned it. Um, it was passed around a couple times. The first part of the house that was built was a small part and then the big one was an addition. But I, I believe they were like lawyers or something like that. All right, we got some time before we have to head back. We're gonna try to run out and check the boathouse. Behind the Clements house is their boathouse. It's all the way in the back. So we're gonna try to find it. Huh? I already told them. Ashley's hometown. So we're gonna try to find it. We've never actually found it. So this will be the first time. Hopefully we'll get to see it. So here's the house. But the kitchen used to be right here. And all those windows used to look out into the ocean. It was super, super cool. All right, we got a dilemma. There's the road to it, but it's water all around. So we're trying to figure out how to get to there. I'm going back that way. You're gonna go that way around? That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's try it. Look at that, blazing trails. <laughs> okay, so you can't, you can't do this one on tennis shoes. You definitely do need boots. Oh, beautiful walk through the marsh. I'm just going to keep going this way because it's already... This is great. All right, hold on. We'll be on the trail in a second. A little deep right here. This is a fence post. Uh, it's getting deeper. So here's the road. And it goes that way, so we'll try to follow that on the way back. That's pretty cool. We found the boathouse. So this was the, I believe it was a road. They would boat in and they had a car that would drive them to the house that was up over that way. We made it, the boathouse. It's the first time we've ever seen this. It's really nice out here. The view is incredible. The walkout was actually one of the nicer ones that we've been to. There's no flooring or anything in there. What, did they just park the boat in there? Yeah. Wow. Crab traps and stuff. Yeah, if they had a generator, maybe. This is wild. Here's the back half of the house. And they were coming this way and come all the way around and in. There's a mattress, wood fireplace. That's wild. So it was an apartment. I don't, uh, refrigerator it looks like right here. I am curious to know what this part of the dock was used for. There's another one right here. The post is here. And you can see the boards going into the water. Okay, we're headed back. But uh, Assateague Island, it's got tons and tons of historical stuff on it. There was once a hotel here. A lot of the lodges had cars where they would um, transport their clients or even themselves like this to their main house over here. Uh, but it's crazy how much stuff is is on here besides the grave sites and all that they were even trying to develop it into a, like a mini ocean city which never happened because of a storm but um yeah it's crazy look it up on online you'll find a bunch of research and stuff on it it's pretty cool today's finds we got a balloon a tire a planter a quarter of a planter purple scuba mask and the crab trap pretty good mm -hmm. and a walk show and a walk show. 
Oh, and a cloister. Oh, and a cloister. Look, check this out. We got, we, we found a clam stuck to an oyster. So we called it a cloister. I have no idea how this happened. I've never seen this in my life. Crazy. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.